welcome to this video where we are going to talk about the new Truffle 4 release. I just received an email that the Truffle 4 release is out and it's very exciting. New features, debugging and integrated blockchain that we are going to cover in this video. Now I have already opened the Truffle release page and it introduces the integrated Solidity debugger, uh, also the faster development cycles which you can use with the integrated development blockchain that comes and how to migrate from Truffle 3 to Truffle 4 especially in regards to testing with the integrated blockchain. Now I have prepared here an empty folder that I'm gonna use on my Windows machine. Uh, I use PowerShell here if you are on a Mac or on a Linux obviously you can use the terminal. Now, the first thing that you want to do, if you haven't done already, is uh, install Truffle. Uh, that is fairly easy. If you have the node package manager, just type npm-g truffle, npm install-g truffle, and it should install the new version 4. Now, what I want to use in this video is one of the Truffle boxes. And in this video, I want to use the Truffle webpack box and the reason is simply that it hasn't been upgraded uh, right now to Truffle version 4 so it's still using the configuration the Truffle JS config uh, which interferes with the testing environment and it also comes with a MetaCoin example which I want to use uh, for debugging. Now I would say we just type in Truffle Unbox Webpack and it should download and install the webpack project from truffle if you haven't uh, seen truffle boxes before and while this is unboxing or unpacking here i want to show you how these look like if you go to truffleframework.com boxes then you find some projects that you can use as a boilerplate for your own projects so basically what this is it is a repository somewhere on uh, the truffle GitHub account and they are pre-configured init boxes uh, or boilerplates that really allows you to focus on the development and not on setting up Truffle or your development framework first. And Webpack in particular is a very very simple repository that was set up in order to make use of Webpack and just have a very basic uh, boilerplate to make use of Truffle, make use of Webpack and integrate all the, the moving parts from Web3.js, Truffle contract uh, to your finalized website where you can build it and deploy it somewhere. Now let's have a look back to our directory here. Unboxing is finished. And what you can see is I can Truffle compile, Truffle migrate, Truffle test, and so on. But I don't want to use any of those. I just want to type in Truffle develop, and it should bring up the development console. And the first thing that you see here, we don't have to use the test RPC anymore. The, uh, the blockchain for development is now directly integrated into Truffle, and it will output me 10 accounts and also the mnemonic for these accounts in order to import them in any other HD wallet. Now what I'm going to do next is I just simply type in migrate. It should compile and migrate the contracts. Obviously it will complain a little bit because uh, Truffle 4 comes with the newest Solidity 0418 and uh, 0418 has no more constant functions. I've talked about this on my blog uh, which you can see in the description and in this case we are just going with it we don't change the contract because what i want to show you here is the debugging functionality now i haven't found any quicker way to just really debug something uh, where i don't have to write my own contracts i just use this metacoin example and i opened it here in order to go with you through the contract step by step and see what it is it doing I've opened the MetaCoin Solidity file here that comes with the Truffle Webpack project and it still uses uh, Solidity 042 and comes with some very, very simple things. Uh, the one who deploys the contract gets uh, 10,000 
meta coins at the beginning and you can send coins uh, to someone a certain amount and if you have not enough on your balance then it will return a false or else it will emit this event you can also get the balance in ether or uh, the balance of coins from an address now it's it's a very simple contract and uh, if you haven't seen any of these contracts before and you don't know what they mean check out my courses also on my blog but for now we are going with this and we are testing first getting the balance and then sending a coin from one address to another and see how this works with the debug console what it outputs if we have the a sufficient amount of uh, coins available and what happens if we have uh, not a, a sufficient amount of coins available now if you are on the uh, truffle develop console then you have to type in the javascript parts uh, which are which you should be used from uh, truffle contract itself so you would go like metacoin dot deployed and so on i have already prepared this here and i have basically two functions that are interesting for us the one is get amount in ether and the other one is send coins now i have pretty formatted them here in order to go with you through the functions step by step and can explain it to you if you want to input them into the truffle develop console then you have to enter them without any line breaks so this is why i have here one function without a line break even though it's breaking here you can see there is no line break at the end of the line so it's basically just my editor uh, showing me line breaks for better readability okay first we are getting the instance from metacoin which was deployed then we are getting we are calling a constant function get balance with our first account in our account list and then we we are getting back a big number object which we have to convert to a number and this is what we're going to output then i would say we just see how this works And what I can see is that I have my 10,000 coins on my first account. If you're wondering where you can get this code, you can find it also in the blog post on my blog. Now let's see what happens if we are sending uh, 1,000 coins from one account to another. I have just uh, reformatted this into a single line. What I get back if I really call uh, make a transaction, then I get a transaction hash back. And this transaction hash uh, is the parameter we have to use for our debugger to dive into this transaction. Now we can go ahead and type in debug and then enter the transaction hash. And it will open line by line the metacoin solidity file and show us where we are in the commands or in the instructions that we are just executing on the blockchain with enter i can just uh, go to the next step with o i can go over the next step with e into the next step u i can step out if i have uh, if i go into any other functions or if i have any loops uh, I can step into instructions and I can print instructions. For example, if I type in P, then I see that I just have a push one uh, here. Now with enter, I can go through the different steps which are called from my contract. I can see that it checks the amount, the amount in my balances for this address that is calling the transaction it's all fine it's deducting the amount from the balances it's adding the uh, amount to the person i want to send the coins to it's sending me uh, sending me 
the event, the log, and then returning true. That's it. Now I would say we go ahead and see what happens if we try to send uh, more coins than we have. I see the transaction is also going through uh, simply because we are returning a uh, false here and we cannot access the return value. So let's see how this looks like if we are debugging this. I, it's again going into the function, looking if the um, if we have enough coins in our balances and then returning false and I can see it never reaches the next line. So it helps me with debugging contracts, especially with larger contracts. It's probably very, very useful. Uh, and for smaller contracts, I personally would still prefer Remix, but uh, for larger contracts and larger projects where you're using Truffle already, it really helps you to dive into a transaction which are completing in a way that uh, you, you don't know where it's actually stopping. So for complex things, this can really, really help. Now let's have a look at testing. One thing that you have to keep in mind with testing is usually before you had to start the test RPC. And now if you want to use the internal testing framework from, uh, if you want to use the internal blockchain from Truffle, then you have to change your Truffle JS config file. And if you have a look at the Truffle JS config file here, then we see that I have a development network here. And as long as I have a development network or a test network, then Truffle will still try to use the old uh, or your own implementation of a blockchain or your own instance of a blockchain, which wherever it is running. So you want to change this maybe to my network, save it and then run truffle test. So then truffle test should actually use the internal blockchain that comes with truffle. It's again complaining about the uh, older version of solidity, but then executing the tests on the internal blockchain. Now let's see what happens if I gonna type in here uh, development as I had it before. If I type in truffle test now, uh, it should complain that there is no connection to my Ethereum client. And this is the whole difference between uh, using the internal one and using an external uh, blockchain or Ethereum client. Now, this is the end of this video. If you like it, then please subscribe to this channel. Also subscribe to my blog and check out my courses on Udemy and on my blog as well. And thanks for watching.